Hello, welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I am going to react to the Mandalorian season 3 season finale. Before I start, I want to tell you one more time about my graduation project. Um, I am really fucking nervous at the moment. A lot of people sent me audition tapes and uh, yeah, this weekend I have to make a choice uh, who I want in my movie. Also, the crew is almost complete and in two weeks we start shooting. And if you didn't know yet, I made a GoFundMe for my movie. So if you want to support my movie, check out the link to the GoFundMe. It's in the description, in the comments, probably also somewhere here. And all the money I raise with the GoFundMe uh, goes to the production of my movie. The more money we raise, of course, the more stuff we can pay for and the more epic the movie is gonna be. Um, I already raised quite a bit, so thank you so much everyone. But I still haven't reached the goal in the GoFundMe. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but if you can still spare something, that would be great and I would really appreciate it. And also if you donate, if not anonymously, then uh, your name will also get a place in the end credits of the movie. The movie will probably come out in a few months on my YouTube channel. And yeah, like I said, uh, any help is um, appreciated. So yeah, check out the link and uh, yeah. And now I'm going to react to The Mandalorian. I want to say really quickly that I don't have another show to react to after The Mandalorian. And um, I have decided that I won't do another show right now because I'm graduating. May is going to be insanely busy because I have to make my graduation movie, uh, write my thesis. Uh, and it all has to be done like by June. So I did already record a few movie reactions which were requested by Patreon. So I'll upload one of these uh, once a week and probably game videos. So there will probably still be two videos a week. So no worries about that. Just not a new show right now. And uh, once it's June, I'll see what I'm gonna do. But once I graduate, I have a lot of time again and then a lot of reactions are coming your way. So uh, yeah, with that said, The Mandalorian. Now I'm really going to react to it, but I had to say that before. I am very excited at the same time. They said something like oh you're all gonna wish you didn't ask for more so i am kind of scared about din's safety and all the last time we saw that uh it was an ambush and din got like separated from the rest they took him so i am really scared they are going to hurt din or something and um yeah it's making me pretty nervous also uh i don't want grogu to see his dad being hurt you know so I don't know. It is kind of funny because I was just watching uh, The Clone Wars and I left off in the middle of a Mandalorian storyline and I'm going to watch The Mandalorian, so yeah. Don't think I have a lot more to say. Uh, as if I haven't said enough already, let's just start this fucking reaction. Um, yeah, season finale. Very exciting. Let's go. Come in. Damn. Instant chaos. I swear, if anything happens to Bogotan, I'm out. Oh, baby. Oh, get them. Oh, Ooh, that must be hot with that armor. I don't know if it actually goes through because it's like Basker, but I think it would still get pretty hot, right? I really thought Din was just gonna be a sad prisoner who they were gonna torture, but yeah, maybe he is. No? No. No. <gasps> no. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, he saves him! I'm okay. I'm oh! Okay. The way he's like, I'm okay, I'm okay. It really reminds me of The Last of Us where he finds Ali in the episode before the last one and he's like, You're okay, you're okay. Yes. I'm gonna need you to be brave for me, okay? I mean, look at him. If we don't take out Moff Gideon. This will never end. Braves boy. You with me? Already epic as hell. I have high hopes for the season finale. Their capital ship will soon be destroyed. But the Mandalorian has escaped. Is the green dot Grogu? No, I'll take care of him myself. Oh god. Honestly, the whole Moff Gideon storyline gives me more like the season one and two vibes. Come in, R5. I forgot he was still there with them. Oh, he's like <laughs> so cute. Oh, <I'm> slay. <laughs> oh, is he afraid of heights? The enemy. <laughs> we. Stay close. Let's go. Rokatan needs our help! 
Everyone go. Boom! Onto the box. Go. Yeah, I mean, it was only like a small group who went there in the first place, so if they just all go, then they're pretty strong. But X. Fuck. I didn't really like him at first, but now they're a team, so you know. Dude, no. Do something. Activate them one at a time. Got it. Mm -hmm. This is smart though. Little SR5 do this. It's not working. <laughs> Little legends. Next you. Part five. Next you. Imagine just being in there in the last one. Seeing everyone being slaughtered before you and then you just have to wait for your turn. Oh, the thing again. No. They're so small but so scary. <laughs> come on, R5. Come on. Please. Get him. They're like mice. Right now I'm just seeing the Pedro Pascal video where he's like, Yas and slay. That's sad. <laughs> Fuck them. I don't tolerate toxic bitches. Oh, is he scared? No, okay. No, he's a brave little boy. Oh, yeah. That's not Gideon. It's a clone. Clones. Scary, right, little boy? Oh, no. He did not deserve that. Look at his little face. Oh, he's totally stressed out. Are they all gonna get out now? Because that's not good. Imagine making that many clones of yourself. Talk about being a narcissist. Ooh, it looks pretty. I never knew the surface could still sustain plant life. All they need is room to grow. Let's take back our planet. I am loving this episode. Like if you look at the first half of the season or like actually the first six episodes, ooh, I'm like, nah, and then this, like, this is the same season, okay. It's so cool. Damn. So many cool shots in this episode, it's insane. R5? My clones! Oh, he can open it. We're finally going to be perfect. The best parts of me. But improved by adding the one thing I never had. Oh. The force. Oh. I was isolating the potential to wield the force. You smothered them before they could draw their first breath. No regrets. Hide, Krogu. <laughs> Don't get hurt. Uh, is this is what is this what they meant? No. No, Krogu. I don't don't know if you. No. No. Don't touch his son, he'll go crazy. No, 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 no. Don't separate them. No! Uh, no, I can't see him hurt. No! Come on, Grogu. Use the force. Oh, with the little legs. Okay, but book a time though. <gasps> yes, queen. Go save your kid. Yes, please, please. My heart can't take it. Bo-Katan creeps. Surrender or fight. Fucking kill him. Oh, little baby. No. Don't mess with 
mess with Pedro Pascal's kids. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't you get close to him. <gasps> nice. It is so nice how they like both constantly save each other. Because I was. You, Grogo looks kind of helpless because he looks so young and small, but I mean, he really isn't. He saved Din twice now. And Din saved him as well, so they make a great team. I love them. Oh, I, I'm so scared for Bogota now. Like, at first I was fearing for Din, but it seems like he's fine. But like, someone has to get hurt, right? Something bad has to happen. Hand over the dark saber. No. Fuck. The dark saber is gone. Uh. You lost everything. <laughs> I'm like, it's maybe not very honorable to shoot people in the back, but at the same time, this man is not honorable at all. Not Gideon, I mean, so no worries. Just get him. He's an asshole. Oh shit! Get the fuck out of there! Aww, him helping. I love that. Honestly, why is Moff Gideon so overpowered? Uh, what about them? They're, they're fine, right? Oh! Oh my god! I am not crying. You are. Is Grogu gonna be a Mandalorian now? But like, was this the boy that was also um, taken by the beast? Because he already had that ritual, right? But it was his dad that died. Oh, are you next? <laughs> My son is next. <laughs> He's no longer a foundling. Add him to the song. He is too young to speak, so he is too young. He can young say yes and no. Well, not anymore. The thing is destroyed. He must remain a foundling. He's sad now. If his parent gave permission. His parents are far from here. If you are speaking to his biological father. Then I will adopt him as my own. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Honestly, that doesn't mean anything yes. because he it's has been way. your son since the beginning. This but the way. it's a nice gesture. In Jar is accepting this family and his son. That is so beautiful. <laughs> you are now. Din Grogu, Mandalorian Apprentice. This is the way. Take your apprentice on his journeys. This is the way. No. Wait, is he gonna see the... The Mythosaur? Oh, yeah. Such a good episode. So yeah, what's their first mission gonna be? Journey. Oh, the little feed. <laughs> I'm here on business. Is Zap still there? <laughs> food. <laughs> he sees food, he's happy. Oh. He sure likes the trophies. It's not him, kid. <laughs> One of them reminds him of someone he knew. You want to work for the New Republic? <laughs> on a case by case basis. He's a freelancer. Which is why you won't tell them. Let me think about it. You already did. <laughs> Small <adventure. laughs> He keeps looking at the trophies. My one in return is that. Oh, is he gonna build a new suit? To cap it, lay low with your new family if you choose. Her. New family. Please Thank add Bogatan to the family. <laughs> Grogu and his parents. And Grogu. 
Uh, is it just me or is he growing a lot? Or like a little, I mean. A lot, little. Oh god, damn. I am IG-11, your new marshal. So it works? Oh, okay. At your disposal. They have a little house now. That is so cute. <sighs> Just living with his son. Practicing the force with innocent frogs. <laughs> I love that. That was so cute! Oh my god! I am so happy about this episode! Like in the beginning I said I had high hopes. Well, they all came through. It was so good. So much happened, but like... It was mostly the fight. But so much happened within the fight. And then even after the fight, it wasn't even that long of an episode. But still so much happened. And I don't even know where to start. It was so cute. Everything was just so cute and wholesome and epic and... <sighs> yeah, this is what I'm used to with a Mandalorian season finale. Of course, the last season finale was the one where Luke showed up. That is so long ago, but that was also such an epic season finale. I think that episode is maybe even one of my most viewed reactions or like in the top 10 or something because it was such an epic episode and um, yeah, they did it again. I'm really happy with this. Like we had indeed kind of a slow season. Um, up to the sixth episode, honestly, I was enjoyed. Like, like I said before, give me Bo-Katan, Din Djarin, and Grogu, and I am amused. I don't care what they do. They can eat cookies or just, I don't know what. I am amused if I see them on my screen. But like, for the storyline, I think mostly the last two episodes, they really did it. It's also in the trailer for the season. They were constantly saying like, oh yeah, we're going to Mandalore. We're going to retake Mandalore. Um, they constantly showed all these Mandalorians. So in my mind, it was like the whole season is going to be about that. In the end, I feel like only really the last two episodes were about that. Um, of course, it was also the whole build up to Moff Gideon still being alive. And of course, we had the two clans and Bo-Katan who had to reunite them so they would be stronger and they could actually take it back. I just feel like that didn't have to take six episodes but i mean in the end i'm very satisfied with with the season especially the season finale it was just really nice like i said it before i love the shot so much where you see all the mandalorians with the jetpacks flying they did it a lot of times here but honestly it just doesn't get old it's so beautiful to see i think the thing i love most in this episode maybe every episode is just the uh, yeah relationship between din and grogu just the fact that grogu saved din quite a few times and he helped so well during the fight also using the force to like um move the weapons from the enemies and in the end when he like saved them from the fire i really cried that was just so cool that he did that and when the whole explosion came i feared for them like a little bit i thought okay it's still a season finale i mean in the mandalorian you have the main characters and mostly not a lot of bad things happen to the main characters as in it's not game of thrones where you fear that they die every episode you're just like i mean this show is about them it's probably fine at least for now but i was like yeah this fire is pretty intense and this explosion with the cruiser that like crashed into there and there was so much fire we saw moff gideon die i hope he finally died but i mean it looked pretty hot in there so um yeah and then i was like okay but they're all three but like all three of them are in there so that means maybe one of them would get hurt or in danger or i don't know but yeah i'm so happy Krogu did that. that was so epic honestly if it would have been some some random thing like yeah yeah the fire just didn't hit them or something i would be like I don't know about that, but this was just like such a perfect solution and it was so cool that Grogu saved them again. Because like I said before, Grogu looks really um, like helpless and innocent, but he can do shit. He can save himself. Like the way he held off the three guards, like when with running over there and just using the force a bit until Din showed up and then they beat them together. Like... He's not completely helpless. I mean, he trained with Luke. He has had a lot of missions with Din. So he knows kind of how to defend himself. Beside the whole Grogu saving Din part, what I like the most about this episode is that they got their own house and that Grogu is officially Din's son now. Like, honestly, it didn't mean that much to me because I was like, Grogu has been your son for three seasons now. Um, 
you can adopt him officially it's all nice and stuff but i mean he's already your son but still it's 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 really nice that now he can be like a mandalorian apprentice because of that and um yeah he's just officially his son like everyone has been calling him din's son for the three seasons now but now he's officially his son so love that and just them chilling in their own house it is so cute <laughs> also i totally forgot to say but like in the one scene where they were at the bar i saw dave filoni in the background um but like i saw him for a really small part and i was focused on the uh like Roku looking at the trophies again so i forgot to say but that's so funny that they put him in the back because i saw like a lot of interviews with him because of the star wars celebration and then with the hat you just immediately recognize him so <laughs> that was funny i saw someone saying that and i was like oh yeah shit i recognize him too it's fun that they do like little cameos like that first i was like looking around hmm are there maybe like other people from other shows we can recognize again but then he was there so I mean, that was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I think I've said it all. Um, it is. It was a really good episode. I'm very happy with it. I want to tell you one more time that uh, I am making my graduation movie. The GoFundMe is still on there and we're still trying to reach the goal. So uh, if you can spare anything to donate to my graduation project, that would be really nice. The link is in the description. Oh, also, if you want to see my full reaction to this episode, you can check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. All the uncut Mandalorian episodes are on there. And yeah, with that said, that was my reaction action um it ha like the episodes from this season were really different but overall i like this season i had a lot of fun watching it and yeah i'm very excited to see more so i hope you like my reactions did you then please leave a like subscribe and then i really hope to see you after my whole graduation process or at my movie reactions so bye